Welcome to AUSPAC 2017, a trade show at Sydney Olympic Park where AMPC has a stand and where I've just given a presentation on the importance of research and development for the Australian red meat processing industry. 2017 has had an eventful start for the AMPC. I'm pleased to announce that we have appointed Peter Rizzo as Chief Executive Officer. Peter brings with him valuable experience trading meat protein and other commodities in highly competitive international markets. His record of driving innovation and high performance, along with his knowledge and relationships in the agribusiness sector, make him a great fit to lead AMPC through the challenges and opportunities facing our sector. In January, we called for proposals for a new round of RD&E projects. We developed a record number of submissions which our team is currently assessing in consultation with industry advisory committees. It appears from the initial review there will be some groundbreaking research that will go towards enhancing the sustainability, productivity and profitability of our industry. In February, we commissioned an independent review into Project 150, MLA's plan to pursue an investment of $150 million to implement an industry-wide installation of objective carcass measurement technology to all Ausmeat accredited plants by 2020. Since it was announced in November last year, we have repeatedly called for greater consultation and more information regarding the financial, strategic, technical, commercial, operation, governance and the implementation aspects of Project 150. AMPC, along with AMIC, are united in their support for embracing objective carcass measurement technology as long as it delivers tangible benefits to our members and the industry. We have a responsibility to our members to take a considered and fact-based approach to investment decisions, which is exactly why we have commissioned this independent review. The experienced team from EY will lead this review. They welcome industry consultation and they will provide regular updates. The findings and recommendations will then be made available at the end of April and we look forward to sharing them with you. In the months ahead, AMPC will also be present at trade shows and events. We will launch an educational resource for school students and we will continue to work towards an open innovation model.